I'm sitting here with my beer, so we can't start the intro now. There hasn't been an open day at SIP since 2019. In the two years in between, we don't know what was going on, we've all forgotten about it. Today at open day 2022, the weather is good and there is a 0% chance of rain. Let's take a look around now. Behind us, you can see our open day mile. These are merchant stands and the scooters can park here as well. We'll walk around here a bit and look around. The old Ape scooters look like a Vespa from the front. This one is an Akma, which is very rare and expensive nowadays. Here it clearly says Vyatka. It is the Russian counterpart to the Vespa. It seems that the inspiration for the scooter was the Vespa. It comes from Russia and is very rare. You can transport many things with it. We also have a photo studio here today, where photos are taken, of course. Photos, get it for free with the Vespa. Please come to take a picture, free with the Vespa. If you look back here, the whole SIP parking lot is already full. It's still quite early and I don't even know where everyone here is coming from. Let's take a look at some license plates. I think RV is Ravensburg. Ulmer Goldochsen. Cool. We have Averell here, who represents half past at the bar. He sells t-shirts and mugs for a good cause. Half past at the bar raises money to give a little support to scooter riders in need. What is in here? You also have a fig liqueur. Yes. After that, you automatically get into trouble if you drink the stuff, right? No, we pay attention to safety and that's why we also have a breathalyzer here. You have a real breathalyzer? Where? Yes, because we take care of the safety. Do I put that in here? This is the first time that I'm allowed to hold such a thing myself. It has to warm up first. Wait, I'll have a quick sip of beer. No blow as long as it whistles. Analyse? Analysis shows 1.67 per mil, which means I'm super wasted and that after half a beer. This is a really good device, Everell. If you get into a police control, don't get the idea of having a quick sip of beer beforehand. That could go wrong. This won't even stop beeping. Is this directly connected to the police? I don't know. I'm wasted. So we're moving on. Thank you, Everell. No problem. See you at half. <laughs> Good. That was really fun. 1.67. I have never had anything bad on a police test. But here I am with 1.67 per mil. That's insane. Here we have electric Vespas. This is a company that takes the engine out of nice old scooters and installs electric motors. This is your company, isn't it? Could you tell us your name, please? I'm Lorenz. Lorenz builds electric scooters out of scooters. And how fast can such a scooter go? We offer the 125 version and the 50 version. The 125 goes up to 85 kmh top speed and the 50 legally to 50 kmh top speed. The range of the 125 is 50 kilometers and the 50 is 75 kilometers. These are all modified scooters, also these two over here. So we are here today with five scooters. Is this only available for small frame or also for large frame? In series only for small frame, but we are currently working on a conversion kit for large frame, which will hopefully come in series at the end of the year. We started with the small frame because most scooters are built that way already. 
Large firm is running their first prototypes, the first PX, but it's not ready for production yet. And this is a PK automatic? Exactly, they are quite cheap to get and you can easily convert them to an electric motor. We converted this one for customer from a PK50 automatic to a 125 electric. Have you already sold a scooter today? We hope that serious people have already been there. The interest overall is great. Okay, I'm curious. Thank you. So we, we, we have some very famous people here, like uh, like Kao. Yes, he is a, he is a famous uh, painter, in uh, always in the same sentence like Picasso, for example. And he's doing very, really cool paint jobs for scooters, don't you? We do also on scooters, yeah, on helmets and scooters. Me okay. and the whole team, uh, because uh, we have a lot of artists in the, in the, the crew. Yeah. And now we come with the uh, with, uh, with, uh, with Lambretta Louis, already painted. Yeah, okay. in this period uh, we are painting a lot of scooters. Yeah. Yeah. And, and the best thing today is your, is your t-shirt. Yeah, of course. Yeah. It was here in 1997. Okay. On the custom show, it was from custom the from show, the custom show. Zandland. Okay, yeah. really cool. We have very special guests here today. These are our friends from VMC, a company from Italy that has caused a stir in recent years with its very good products. And we were able to convince them to come to us. Here we have a racing scooter and new products that are very interesting. For example, a five-speed gearbox. What are the most important products you, you, you do? Um, we have some very good cylinder for big frame okay. and also for the small frame. My, my favorite cylinder for the for the small block PX yeah. is, is the Chrono. Yeah. And what else are you doing? Uh, exhaust? We make uh, um, artisanal welded exhausted. Ah, okay. <laughs> this is a uh, one of the hour is the Evo. But you have something something brand new, very interesting. Yes. I would like to introduce to the camera. I think it is this one. Yeah? Yes. Can you tell us something about this exhaust? This is a, a siluro. We we call it. This is a pre-production prototype. Is a similar the original uh, uh, exhaust from the SS90 or SS. Okay. When can we sell this at the? I hope uh, for the middle of the year. Unfortunately, we still have to wait a bit. I think about two months. So stop by our SIP shop every now and then for the new hot banana exhaust. Here is an old well-known brand, Pinasco. They've been around since at least the 80s, maybe even since the 70s. Pinasco also brought a lot of new things with them. For example, a green scooter. And this is Patrick Adam, who represents Pinasco. Do you represent Pinasco in Germany? More or less, at times. What can you say about the smart carp? How does it work for you? If you deal with it, it is very good in the air calm room. I can't complain. The gas intake is also really worth the money in every situation. You always have to deal with that. It can't be avoided. We'll move on now. Here is a stand of sellers who builds trailers which are available for all models that also have a trailer hitch. They can be adapted in various ways to Vespa, Lambretta, vintage cars and automatic scooters. These trailers are also available in the SIP shop. To get something like that approved on roads, it's not so easy. But the people at Legend Bikes did it. Here is, uh, Here is Erich Oberpertinger from South Tyrol who also has nice tuning things for the everyday life in stock. He became so well known because he does very spectacular things. Here he has scooters for example with 250 or 300 cc. He even finished building this slightly rusty 400 cc small frame scooter just for the open day. This scooter will be put to the test later. Tell me a little bit about the scooter. The idea actually came up many years ago when I bought the scooter. I thought to myself that something impressive had to go in there, kind of like the wolf in sheep's clothing. The challenge there was to fit the 400cc capacity under the original engine with the side hood. You can't really tell while looking at it. And we'll see the performance later on the test stand. It will be very high. We are very excited. You also installed a nice carburetor here. 
This is a 42 mm DEA. It's a very good cover. Maybe you should screw it tight. That was loose earlier. The vibrations break everything down. The next version is then available with a balancer shaft. But I also think it's beautiful from the looks of it because it's an Italian market style, found in a basement in Sicily. This scooter comes from Texas, has less than 2,000 kilometers on it, and it was probably somewhere in the desert. Die had keine 2,000 kilometer drauf, stand wahrscheinlich irgendwo in der Wüste rum und okay. I always thought American scooters were imported because they don't rust. That's just the surface. You don't know if that's rust or whatever was sprayed on it. I'll leave it as it is. I think it looks really cool in the style and it's also nice and discreet with the old case. Nice, Igig. We are excited. See you later on the test stand. <laughs> Who stole my beer? I was about to say, did you swap your beer for a cylinder or... I put that here. <laughs> this is always a highlight at every Vespa meeting and of course also at the SIP Open Day, our test stand. We are now basically done with our tour as far as the booths are concerned. Here is also the parking lot. We are going back now because we are about to run out of beer. Let's see what other food stands are here. We found another interview partner from a film team that is also shooting a video here. What is the film team doing here and why are they filming? That's why there's no interview, because it's the other way around. I'm the one who interviews. Too late. No, that's my job. Okay, then start with introducing yourself. Actually, we're the ones doing interviews here because we're from Südwestwung from TV channel and we're making a film about the Vespa here. Vespa? Komischerweise, ne? Okay, wie kommt ihr Okay. How did you get to that? We have a series called Car Icons, where we feature the coolest and most popular cars. At some point I thought to myself, we already have the VW Beetle, Porsche 911, VW Bully, Row 80 Galving, ETC. And what is still missing? The Vespa? Correct. Among the cars, you cannot forget the Vespa, of course. No question at all. This was the interview from Stefan to me. Thank you, Stefan. And now, let's go to the workshop. As you can see behind me, the SIP Open Day slowly comes to an end. It was a really great day. There were many visitors, but slowly it becomes less. But that's also a good thing, because I'm super wasted, but the day was really successful. We had an incredible number of guests there. International guests, mechanics, vendors, you name it. There was even a camera team from Südwestrundfunk. I didn't expect that either. Even better so. I'm going to have another beer and get some pizza. If you liked it, hit the bell and tune in again. Thank you. Bye. Vielen Dank. Ciao.